Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in digital signal processing. In this video lecture, we shall consider define signal with an example, explain classification of signals with examples, also define elementary discrete time signals. So first let me consider the definition of signal. A signal is defined as any physical quantity that varies with time, space or any other independent variable or variables. That is very important. It has to vary with respect to independent variable. Mathematically, we describe a signal as a function of one or more independent variables. Is that fine? So now let me consider the examples of signals. Uh, first example, let me consider a function s of t which is equal to phi u into t. This describes the signal that varies with one independent variable which is t. Let me consider the next example while s of x into x comma y which is equal to 2x plus 3xy plus 6y. This also describes the signal that varies with two independent variables which are x and y. So let me now similarly consider the third example. A speech is another example of signal which can be shown as a speech signal uh, which can be shown as a, a graph of amplitude versus time. This is how it looks like. Moving further, let me consider a few more examples of signals. The fourth example, an electrocardiogram that is ECG signal is a signal that provides information about the condition of the patient's heart, which can be shown as we know this. So this is an ECG signal and this is one of the examples for signal. Similarly, moving further, I can consider the fifth example as an electroencephalogram that is EEG signal. This is a signal that provides information about the activity of the brain, which can be shown as. So we know that this is a, a electroencephalogram or EEG signal. We have to place electrodes at the brain uh, and uh, the signals can be plotted. Now for moving further, I'll consider the next concept that is classification of signals. Signals can be classified as first one multi-channel and multi-dimensional signals. Second one continuous time and discrete time signals. Third one as continuous valued and discrete valued signals. Fourth one deterministic and random signals. So now let me consider the explanation of the first signal that is multi-channel and multi-dimensional signals. In some applications, signals are generated by multiple sources or sensors. This is important, multiple sources or sensors. Such signals can be represented in vector form. Such signals are multi-channel signals. They originate from more number of sources or more number of sensors. Example, I can consider a ground acceleration signal due to an earthquake. If there is an earthquake, the signal that gets produced is known as multi-channel uh, signal, which can be represented as in, in, in the form of vector S1 of T, S2 of T uh, and S3 of T. Similarly, moving further, a signal is called multidimensional if its value is a function of m independent variables. That is important. Multidimensional means uh, the signal depends on more number of independent variables. What are, what are the example? Example can be an image. Moving further, continuous time and discrete time signals. Continuous time signals are defined for every value of time. That means for each and every value of time, I should know what is its amplitude? So this is how a continuous time signal looks like. Similarly, discrete time signals are defined only at certain specific values of time. That means it is not defined for all time t. This is how an example looks like. It is defined for 0, 1, 2, 3 and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. If I want to know the value, what is there at uh, the position 1.5? It is undefined. It is not defined. Such signals are discrete time signals. Moving further, continuous valued and discrete valued signals. If a signal takes on all possible values on a finite or an infinite range, it is said to be a continuous valued signal. Is that fine? Alternatively, if the signal takes on values from a finite set of possible values, it is said to be a discrete valued signal. 
So last one is deterministic and random signals. What is deterministic signal? Any signal that can be uniquely described by an explicit mathematical expression, a table of data or a well-defined rule is called deterministic signal. Signals alternatively again uh, that evolve in the time in an unpredictable manner are referred to as random signals. If, if I want to say example, uh, lightning, if there is any lightning during raining, that signal is unpredictable. <laughs> We don't know when uh, that signal is going to happen. Such signals are known as random signals. Moving further, elementary discrete time signals. There are uh, the first elementary discrete time signal is unit sample or impulse signal. Next one is unit st step signal. Third one is unit ramp signal. And fourth one is <coughs> sorry exponential signal. So let me consider the first one unit sample or impulse signal. The unit sample or impulse signal is denoted as del of n and is defined by, so del of n is equal to 1 for n equal to 0 and it is 0 if n is not equal to 0. And how does that look like? It is, represent, it is uh, represented by something like this. <coughs> Moving further, unit step signal. The unit step signal is denoted as u of n and if I want to define it, it is defined as u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for n less than 0. And how does that look like? If I uh, plot it, it looks something like this. This is known as unit step signal. Moving on further, unit ramp signal. The unit ramp signal is denoted as UR of N. R stands for ramp. And how is that defined? UR of N is equal to N for N greater than or equal to 0. And it is 0 for N less than 0. And how, do, how does that uh, get represented? It is uh, represented something like this. Moving further, the last elementary signal is an exponential signal. The exponential signal is defined as x of n is equal to a to the power n. What is a? a can be r into e to the power j theta. x of n is equal to r to the power n e to the power j theta n. And uh, how it is represented? It can be represented something like this. There is something called growing exponential. There is something called decaying exponential. So these are the examples for exponential signal. So in this video lecture, we have considered a signal with an example and we have also considered the classification of signals with examples and lastly we have also considered elementary discrete time signals thank you so much for watching